The fish industry in Iraq has floundered over the past decade. Farmers were faced with multitude of problems, such as lack of electricity, poor feed quality, and several economic hardships. Iraq's fish industry had always been a stable for the nation's economy, but something needed to be done to revive it. Euphrates and Middle East fish farms, Iraq's largest and biggest design hatcheries, had been operating at approximately less than 40% of capacity due to conflict, sanctions, and production problems. In 2008, USAID INMA began a partnership with the Euphrates Fish Farm to help improve the carp finger links production in Iraq. As part of the USAID INMA project, livestock experts evaluated, repaired, and upgraded infrastructure of both farms. In addition, USAID and the Minister of Agriculture brought improved carp finger links from Hungary to Iraq for crossbreeding with the native carp specimens. Future production of the carp will be dependent on keeping the traits found in the parent Hungarian fish, which are adapting to the Iraqi waters. Before 2007, our production capacity was less than 40%. But after the fingerlings contract with USAID INMA, production increased up to 55%. USAID INMA is increasing the availability of improved fish, cattle, and poultry feed by upgrading six feed mills in the country. USAID and my livestock protein staff members worked extensively on providing not only technical assistance for the country's existing feed mills, but also provided new equipment for a number of feed laboratories to monitor the quality of the raw materials used in feed. USAID INMA continues to assist both hatcheries to address multiple problems such as water aeration, live hole transport, and training of hatchery staff. <laughs> The USAID INMA program made an impact on our industry by establishing training centers for our workers. In fact, USAID INMA selected our company and the Middle East Fish Farm to conduct the trainings where we covered all production elements in fish hatcheries, the ponds, and so forth. The background of our trainees was mixed. Some had a lot of knowledge in fish farming but had little formal education, while others had a lot of education but little experience. Women as well as men participated in our trainings. With USAID in my support, the farm produced millions of fingerlings over the past several years. 